Hello everyone. Um, I do you know I am in the same outfit as my um ombre hair um thing. This because I'm filming on the same day. And again, apologies for not wearing any makeup. Um, this is just kind of a perfect time to do it for me. This kind of time at night is when I do my videos a lot, and I have no makeup on to at this kind of time. So sorry about that. But I'm gonna do a um. This is another lush video. So I'm getting bored of lush videos, but I like lush, and I haven't been out of town very lately um well i have but i didn't really think there was enough things that i bought to make a haul about so i might, might do a collective haul those things for you so i'm going to show you my favorite lush product so far one i want to try and one that i'm not impressed with okay so let's get cracking okay so one that i my favorite lush product so far is the golden wonder bath bomb this smells really nice and fresh and citrusy. Um, I love the way it's packaged with the little present on it. Um, and when you put it in your bath, I'll explain what happens. All this gold stuff comes off in your bath. Then if you can hear this, I don't know if you can. There's like a slight shaking there. This is because when you put this in the bath, all different colour presents kind of thing, all different colour mini bath things come out and make all different colours. I think there's pink, green and blue in there. And um, they all come out and then little kind of confetti stars come out of it and it all turns back to one of the colours that's inside, like the strongest one. Mine to actually turn all green um, with uh, gold stars in it. So I think this is the most kind of wow factor one. So I really like this. I think it's £3.75 or something. I know this is going to be a bit pointless because some of you aren't going to be, most of you aren't going to be able to buy this because they've got the sale on their Christmas products now because it is, Christmas is over. The product that I want to try, um, which I haven't had a chance to do yet, is the Shoot for the Stars. If you could comment below on if this is a good one, I just kind of want to know whether, you know, it's worth you know kind of raving about or not um but i think this looks good anyway the way it's kind of done with the star here and it goes up like that and then they've got all these pink different color splotches on the back um i'm not actually so sure how much this was because i actually got it on my lash box and i'm holding these ones i won't show you at all because you're going to see how to put it in the lid in the lid of my um lash boxing uh, if you've seen my lash and box and if not go and check that out I'm getting dust all over my keyboard. Um, but yeah, this smells really fresh as well, which is always good and a bit sweet. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure how much it's, this one is because, like I said, it's from my Lush box and I haven't come across it before because it's not in my local Lush store. Oh, that was a mouthful. The one that I'm not really impressed with is the, actually the So Why. Sorry about the colours on it. This is from my Shoot for the Stars. It's just over it. I got this on my lash box. I would not really repurchase this again because um, it looks like a big, you know, like it's like it looks like a big snowball and it smells of apples. So I was really intrigued to try this. But when I put it in my bath, it smelled of apples but not overly strong and it just turned the bath red. It didn't do anything, all it did was go red. And it is quite a slow one. I like ones that kind of do it quickly, um, you know, get all their stuff out of them and just kind of leave your bath smelling nice i don't really like a little bath bomb floating around um for ages but this one kind of did that and it smelled um of apples which is a really nice smell but it wasn't strong enough for me um i thought it was really weak smell and all it did was turn it from white to pink this might be a good thing for you you might not like all the kind of um uh, fizz fizzes and bangs and stuff sorry if as well i'm losing this is a bit random if i'm losing eye contact because i'm looking at me on the screen here instead of looking at the webcam so sorry if i keep kind of jiffing like that jiffing i keep switching like that but yeah this is i think this is quite expensive for what it is really i mean i wasn't impressed with what it did and i thought it wasn't really what i thought it would be when i saw this big white snowball i thought loads of things were going to happen, I thought it was going to go white, then red, then all different colours and then, you know, stars come out of it, but this one really impressed, it's more impressive for the eye than the kind of smell of it, yeah, 
I just have to warn you that I've used Bombardier and Cinders, um, and they both kind of left a yellow stained rim around my bath. I got it off time with just a sponge um, on the Bombardier, but with the Cinders we have to we had to use like Silit Bang. Well, my mum had to <laughs> use like Silit Bang around the edge and scrub at it, um, and it came off just got a lot of elbow grease in that. Um, and yeah, so. Um, those are really nice ones. I like the Bombardino because of the custard and the things I like the kind of cinnamon -y smell in that. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye!